I love baseball. When Heather found out that only boys were allowed to play on the baseball team, she disguised herself as a boy. But it's a boys team, and, and, and you're... Henry, nice to meet you. I definitely think that Heather should have been able to try out for the team. So what if she's a girl? She's probably better than half of the boys on that team anyways. Heather Hobby, what are you doing here? I think Levi might have said that to Heather because he didn't want to be embarrassed if she made the team and he didn't. So I made it and we get to be on the same team again? Amy and Holly are best friends. We're a perfect pair. <laughs> like PB and J. They both <laughs> have these charm necklaces that are peanut butter and jelly. I think that Holly should totally be concerned about this Piper girl. Oh, hi, Piper. Group hang at the creek tomorrow. Everyone will be there. Count plans. plans. She just walked in, and now Amy wants to be friends with her. Amy, help me with my lip gloss. Oh, how is that a two-person job? I just think that Holly's afraid that she might get replaced Place. by Piper, though. Yeah. When Holly Hobby's grandmother found out about the open mic, she was kind of embarrassed, maybe. She didn't want to look like she was begging. Take it down. I don't want charity. I don't think she was begging at all. I think that it was for a great cause. Uh, remember how you used to have open mics? I organized one for tonight. I told you to leave it alone. Holly obviously just wanted to make a difference. She always does, and that's what I love about her personality. I think that Holly did make a huge difference. Thank you to my granddaughter, Holly, for organizing and reminding me what a wonderful place this can be, which is why I'd like to ask you to help me save it. You dream, you do it, you work hard, and you can make it happen. Let's see what's happening this week behind the scenes on Holly Hobby. My character is Heather, and she is more of like a tomboy than a girly girl. She likes to play sports. She has her own way of seeing the world, like she won't be told no, because if she is, then she'll just do whatever she wants to do. Don't get mad at me, I don't make the rules. But you could help me break them. I wanted to play Heather because she's super sarcastic and funny. Mutually assured destruction. I like it. Also because when I read the script for like my first audition, it kind of reminded me of what I would do. It was more of just like a, we hadn't talked in a while, and so I didn't know if like the connection was still there. I was in high school and I like switched over to be homeschooled. And since, you know, you go from seeing each other every day to, you know, one person's at school, the other's like at home just doing school, right? So I kind of, we kind of like fell off. One thing that I've learned from those experiences of, you know, maybe not getting along with someone as well as you used to, um, and maybe growing apart from friends is that, you know, friends come and go. I just, I talked to her and everything was completely fine, so I was just overthinking the situation. <laughs> hey guys, Ruby J here with some Holly Hobby trivia. Can you guys remember what the name of the cafe is that Holly is trying to save? Grandma's dying! Grandma's dying? Grandma's dying? Grandma's dying. What? No, no. Then what were you talking about on the phone? Uh, Hella? Uh, the Calico's closing. If you guessed Calico Cafe, you're correct. Congratulations. Make sure to tune into Calico Chats next time for more Holly Hobby trivia. Holly Hobby on Family.